Hey guys, it's Lexi, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about my ADAT study schedule. So I made a video on how to study for the ADAT where I gave you guys some general advice on how to study for the exam, and I also compared my ADAT knockout practice scores with my real ADAT exam scores. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a day-by-day -day study schedule that you can apply when you're studying for the exam. In terms of preparing to study for the ADAT, it's important to figure out how many hours you have to study each day, and I think it's important to be realistic with your other time commitments because ultimately you're going to want to be able to follow your ADAT study schedule. You also want to figure out where you can study the best and be able to focus. You also want to make sure that you can try to minimize your competing priorities, whatever it is for you that you feel like you can't give up, that's okay. But don't take on new responsibilities during this time period. You're already going to be stressed studying for this exam. You then want to make sure that you research the ADAT resources and you decide what resources you're going to use when you're studying for the exam. So I'm going to talk to you guys more specifically about what I used and give you the day-by-day -day study schedule that I used. You want to then gather all of your ADAT resources, so you want to make sure that you have your book ready. You also want to make sure that you give yourself some leeway space between when your study schedule is going to end and when you're actually scheduled to take the ADAT. So I understand the idea that you want to schedule your exam ahead of time, but with that said, I think it is good to give yourself some sort of buffer space between the end of your study schedule and then the date that you take the exam. The reason is you never know if an emergency is going to come up, so it's nice to just have that extra buffer space of maybe one to two weeks. Finally, you're going to want to schedule the exam. I already shared my score on the last video, but I just wanted to show those of you guys who didn't watch that video how I scored on the ADAT using this study schedule. So here's a summary of the materials that I used to study for the exam. For the biomedical sciences portion, in order to review the content, I used b and Dental's NBDE Part 1 book. And then for practice questions for every section, I used ADAT Knockout, which is an online platform. To study for clinical sciences, I used the NBDE Part 2 playlist by Mental Dental on YouTube. In addition, for just one part of the biomedical sciences portion, I used the microbiology playlist by Pass the Dental Boards on YouTube. And then finally, for the biostatistics portion, for content review, I used a series of YouTube videos videos, and I'll put a link of those in the description. In the study schedule, you're going to notice that I started studying the clinical sciences first, and I wanted to give some logic to why I decided to do that. I think that for the clinical sciences portion of the ADAT, the questions are a lot more application-based, and I think it's a lot easier to retain clinical sciences information over a couple of months than it is for the biomedical sciences. With that said, to study for this section, I watched mental dental videos, I took the ADAT knockout practice, tests. I reviewed those practice tests looking at the explanations for every single question, and then I also reviewed my notes from the mental dental videos. So to study for the biomedical sciences portion, I read, highlighted, and annotated my NBDE part 1 book by BMB Dental. I then took the ADAT knockout practice tests, and I reviewed the explanations for each question on the practice tests. And then finally, I went back to my NBDE part 1 book, and I reviewed each of the chapters that I had studied, focusing on the parts that I had highlighted and also my annotations. Finally, for the biostatistics portion of the exam, I watched a series of YouTube videos that I'm linking in the description below. I also took ADAT knockout practice tests and I reviewed the answers to those practice tests and all of the explanations. And then finally, I reviewed notes that I had taken from the YouTube videos and from the practice tests, especially focusing on the biases and the study designs. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my study study schedule. With that said, the study schedule that I'm showing you is for four months, and I actually studied for the exam in three months. My intention was to study in four months, but in the month of January, I honestly was kind of slacking and didn't study as I had wanted, and so I ended up having to kind of cram everything into three months. This study schedule is very adaptable, so you can try to condense two days into one. And so, for example, if you look at day one and day two, you're given two days to study the videos on endodontics from Mental Dental, but if you have to condense the study schedule, you could just squeeze those into one day. I just wanted the study schedule to be something that you can adapt for if you're working as a practicing dentist and you don't have as much time, or if you're a dental student and you're trying to see patients and balance your clinical requirements while you're studying for the ADAT. So definitely feel free to condense the study schedule if you need, or to even lengthen it if you feel like four months isn't enough time for you. With that said, I would definitely recommend not spending any 
more than six months studying for the exam because I think it would be very difficult to retain the information for that long. And I also wouldn't recommend studying for any less than two months because I think that any less than two months you start to limit how well you can do on the exam. So I think anywhere from like three to four months would be ideal for most people. So you can see here the first month was basically all mental dental and I broke down kind of the order that I went through the videos. So make sure that you guys keep in mind as you're studying that not all of these categories are going to have the same number or length of videos. So for example, the videos for endodontics are going to be a lot shorter than the video series for prosthodontics. And that's why, for example, if you look for endodontics, I have two days to study for that section, whereas for prosthodontics, there are three days. So make sure you actually look ahead of time at how many videos you're going to have to watch and how long those videos are so that you can plan accordingly. I also did watch all of the videos on two times speed, so that can help. But just keep in mind that if you're going to want to take notes, that that's going to also take time. So you don't want to just say, okay, I've got to watch two hours of videos, so I'm going to give myself exactly two hours to do that. Then last, you'll notice that I've got the part on day 26 through 28, where it says to review your weak areas in mental dental. I think that this part is actually really important, and you might see that as just like free days, but I really want you guys to understand the importance of review. So if you look at information just one time, you're honestly probably not going to remember anything. And so it's important to go through each day slowly and make sure that you're actually trying to understand what you're reading. So you want to be very active in your studying. And then when you get to the review days, those are actually going to be really important. So those three days are honestly the most important days of the entire month one in the study schedule. And you want to make sure that you actually dedicate many hours to reviewing each of those sections. So if you're like me, when you first start studying for an exam, it can be difficult to study for longer hours. But then as you sort of get used to your study schedule, you can kind of study for longer periods of time. So month two is going to be a little bit more intense compared to the first month. And I think that that's another good reason to have studied the clinical sciences first, because they tend to be less stressful to study for compared to the biomedical sciences. And then also studying ADAT knockout can honestly be quite overwhelming. However, you really do get two full days for every practice test. And so it is doable, but just don't underestimate how long it can take to go through the explanations for all of the questions. So just make sure that you keep that in mind and you're not just thinking like, oh, okay, I can easily review one of these exams in an hour. Because for most of you guys, it's going to take a lot longer than that to really go through all of the explanations and understand and learn from every single question, which is what you want to be doing when you're going through these practice tests. So I have it so that you're taking an exam and then you're reviewing approximately half of the exam. And then the next day you're finishing reviewing the exam. I do think you want to at least get to the halfway reviewing point on the day that you take the exam. Once again, you guys can see the importance of the review days. So if you look at day 39 and 40, these are days where I personally spent reviewing my notes that I had taken. So I wrote some handwritten notes for the clinical sciences exams. And I basically tried to put little bullet points of what I wanted to memorize. For those review days, I studied that information and tried to commit it to memory. So after that, you're going to start with the biomedical sciences content review. Like I told you guys, I use BMB Dental. So with that said, you can use whatever resource you have available to you, though I do highly recommend using BMB Dental. So if you guys decide that you would like to use BMB Dental for the biomedical sciences, here's a breakdown of the digital resources that would be included. You would have access to the online book, videos, flashcards, and practice questions. And the reason that I highly recommend getting BMB Dental is because I feel like the book is a lot easier to understand. If you guys are going through dental decks or first aid and you're feeling overwhelmed by just the vast amount of information that's included, it's not so much that BMB Dental doesn't have this information. I just felt like it was presented in a manner that was easier to understand and it didn't really feel like I was trying to go through a textbook, which was the feeling that I got when I was trying to use first aid. Another aspect that I really enjoy is having the corresponding videos to sort of guide you through the book. I found that to be helpful to kind of make sure that I was staying on task and it would also help me remember the key points. And then the flashcards are nice because you can do those to help solidify the information that you just studied. And then finally, you can also use the practice questions to just reiterate 
great information. So a lot of the studying that you're going to do, repetition is going to be important. I also want to share a promo code that you can use for $10 off. So if you use my promo code Lexi10, you can get $10 off of your purchase. I'm not getting any money or I'm not sponsored by BNB Dental. I just think it's a really good resource and I wanted to share it as an opportunity for you guys when you're studying for the exam. If you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing and we'll get back to the study schedule. So in the third month, basically you're going to finish up the biomedical sciences content review. And if you're also using BMB Dental like I did, you're going to notice that I don't have neurology or microbiology. And that was intentional because I decided it wasn't really worth my time to study those two sections because I think that it would take a lot longer than how many questions I would probably get in those two categories. And so for microbiology instead, I used the past the dental board's YouTube videos. And then for neurology, I just kind of studied whatever was already included in the physiology sections of BNB Dental, but I didn't specifically study neurology on its own. And then after that, from day 70 to 84, which is two weeks, you're just going to be reviewing what you just learned. And so this is super important. And this needs to be a process where you're actively trying to memorize the information that before you were just trying to understand. So month four is really the final stretch and you're going to start the month by taking the eight at knockout practice test for the biomedical sciences in a similar fashion to how I laid out the practice test for the clinical sciences you're going to take the practice test and then you want to review at least half of the exam the same day that you take it I would recommend trying to review even more than half of the exam because the next day you want to really be able to try to memorize the information that you reviewed the day before and then you also have a couple of days so day 95 and 96 and really those were two days of just cramming as much information as I could possibly memorize. After that, you're going to move into the clinical sciences again. Basically, you're going to be reviewing each of the clinical sciences topics one day at a time. And then there's three days of watching videos on biostatistics. Those videos are crucial to prepare you for the ADAT knockout exams. So it's super important that you take great notes on those videos and you really try to understand what's going on. And then on day 100, you start taking the biostatistics ADAT knockout exams and you're going to take and review the full exam in one day and it actually doesn't take that long. The nice thing about the ADAT knockout biostatistics exams is that they're actually similar to each other so you should improve as you move through the five exams assuming that you're reviewing the explanation for all of the questions after you take each exam and that will allow you to build and get better and better as you go through all of the exams. And then finally Finally, you've got another three days where you're just studying the biostatistics notes that you took from the videos and you can add to those notes as you take the ADAT knockout exams if there's any information that wasn't included in the videos. And then five days to just review whatever you want. Basically, they're just five days of cramming before you take the exam. So here I have a list of some tips and tricks. You could try listening to Mental Dental on 1.5 or 2 times speed to save you some time. You can modify the study schedule according to your strengths and weaknesses. I don't think it's worth studying gross anatomy, so basically only study head and neck anatomy. I wouldn't stress too much on microbiology, neurology, or immunology besides what's mentioned on ADAT knockout. I also would use the clinical sciences question banks on ADAT knockout as just extra practice. You may use resources besides ADAT knockout, such as crack ADAT. However, I would recommend not using too many different resources. Feel free to take rest days if you need them and just continue the schedule the next day. Make sure that you're focusing day by day on studying actively, not passively, and try to focus on what you're learning that day. Be honest regarding what you know and what you don't know, because even though you'll never know it all, you want to try to build a big picture of each chapter and try to have as many details memorized as you can, understanding that it's impossible to know everything. At the end of the day, you want to be optimistic and try not to get discouraged. This exam can be overwhelming and you just have to do the best you can. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date when I upload new videos.